I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test questions on applications of quadratic functions. The question number 4 here is the sum of squares of 3 consecutive integers is 194. What are the integers? You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Let's read the question once again. It says the sum of squares of three consecutive integers is 194. Now, what are consecutive integers? The numbers which come together, for example, 2, 3, 4 are consecutive integers. So let's define three consecutive integers. So we say let integers be let us say if I take x as one of the integers, the next one will be x plus 1, and then after that could be x plus 2. So we get the three consecutive integers. I prefer to take integer which is 1 less than x, so I'll take x minus 1. Now these three are also consecutive. Think about writing 5, 4, and 6. 4, 5, 6. They are consecutive. Do you see that? Now, taking x minus 1, x, and x plus 1 helps in calculations, right? You could also take x, x plus 1, and x plus 2, right? Okay. So, these are my three consecutive integers. Now, the question is, sum of squares of three consecutive. So, we have to square them, add them, and that should be 194. So, that means x minus 1 square plus x square plus x plus 1 square should be equal to 194. Do you understand? So that is how you get your equation. Three consecutive square uh, integers, their square sum is 194. So that is sum of squares of three consecutive integers is 194. Now let's expand this. To expand, I hope you remember, we'll use the formula a plus b whole square which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. If it is minus then that becomes minus 2ab. Correct? So we'll use this formula to expand. So we get x square minus 2ab a is x, b is 1. So we get 2x plus 1 square, right? Which is 1. Here we get x square. Here we get x square plus 2x plus 1 equals to 194. Now combine like terms. We have got x squares, 3 of them. So 3x squared. Minus 2x and plus 2x cancel out. Do you see that? So that is why I took these terms as x plus 1 and x minus 1. It helps. 1 plus 1 is 2. So write plus 2 equal to 194. So we can take 2 on the other side. So we get 3x squared equals to 194 minus 2. 3x squared equals to 192. x squared equals to 192 divided by 3, which is equal to 3 times 6 is 18 and 4, 64. So x is equal to square root of 64. Whenever you do square root, you should do positive and negative. Do you get the idea, right? Both positive and negative. Perfect. So we get the x value as equal to plus minus 8. Therefore, our answer is, if I take plus as my answer, if x is plus 8, 1 more than 8 is 9 and 1 less is 7. If I take minus 8, in that case, 1 more is, 1 more is minus 7, 1 less is minus 9. So we get these two sets. Do you see that? So that combination, right? So we have two sets of answers. That's why we have the term integers here. I hope that's absolutely clear. So the three consecutive integers whose sum of squares is 194, are 7, 8, 9 or minus 9, minus 8, minus 7. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps.
You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.